when the mercury vapor, which is not reactive, is breathed into your body, it goes through your lungs, gets into your lung cells, into your blood cells, the blood transfers it around the body. It's the easiest mercury to get into the brain, along with organic mercury. And when it gets into the brain and in the body, there's an enzyme called catalase that converts the non-reactive mercury with no charge on it, the vapor form, into the HG2 plus form, which is very, very toxic. And it traps it inside your cells, and it becomes very toxic. So mercury from amalgam, uh, even though they say it's a vaporous gas, it's the most absorbed. It gets into all the parts of your body, your brain, into your bone marrow and everything else, and then it's converted by the body into an oxidized form that's very, very toxic. See, the real, the real problem with treating any type of brain disorder with drugs is how do you get the drugs across the blood-brain barrier? It's very tight. It doesn't allow easy transport of materials. You, you do that to protect the brain because it's the essential part of our body that uh, you know, keeps us alive, tells us when to run, and when to hide, etc. So it's, it, it, the blood-brain barrier is very impermeable to almost everything. And the only time it's not is, is uh, if, if you treat it with mercury. Then it becomes very leaky. And then toxins and other things can get into the brain. Because mercury is a, a vaporous gas, it's very small, penetrates the blood-brain barrier without any trouble at all. And uh, when it gets into the, the cells that make up the blood-brain barrier, it gets oxidized to toxic mercury. And like I say, the membranes are held very tightly together like this. When mercury hits them, they become leaky. And this is the work of Dr. Perinotti at Ohio State University. He's shown this very carefully, that methylmercury, the marisol that's found in vaccines, and, and inorganic mercury causes these membranes to become leaky and break down. And this is what we see in a lot of disease states, cardiovascular disease with regard to the arteries and Alzheimer's disease with regard to the blood-brain barrier. Whenever these membranes are leaky, things can get into that location that shouldn't be there. Your immune system reacts to it, and that's what we call the inflammation and the oxidative stress that's built up. And when you have that situation, uh, the neurons uh, start dying.